trying out all these different techniques and getting into different colors. Um, today's look is going to be a part two of Rihanna's look and I will put a picture of the inspiration um, up along with this video. So let's get started. So what I've done is applied pa um, Perky Paint Pot and it's that peachy pink color. This was a limited edition one so you can use Painterly and just apply a little bit more color on the lid. But I used Perky with my finger and applied it all over up to the brow. Then I'm going to take a flat shader brush like the 239 and some Jardin Airs pigment. I'm not sure if you can see that it's a peachy color with some shimmer. It's very beautiful. I really like this color. You can use a lemon or melon if you want. Um, I'm trying to think of the others. If you have any deck chair from a while back. What I'm doing is taking that pigment in the lid and I'm kind of getting it into that brush. Then I'm going to pat it all over that lid. Whenever you're using pigments, you want to make sure that you use a flat shader brush and that you pat it on instead of swiping it. Now that I have that on, I'm going to use a technique that Narania uses. I'm taking my Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in Stash. I like this because it's very creamy. I'm going to pretty much draw on my outer V. So pretend there's a line connecting the edge of your eyebrow to the corner of your eye. I'm going to draw a line going up, if it'll apply. doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to blend it out here in a second. Then what I'm going to do is draw just above my crease and that's because I have a lot of lid space. If you have a smaller um, eyes or eyelid space, go right in that crease and that will be fine. So I'm bringing it in about halfway. Just doing kind of a faint line. With these you have to make sure that you um, put the lid on them. Why I'm having a hard time with it spreading is because my lid's been off for a little bit so it'll dry out a little. But if you keep that lid on or um, just sharpen it right before you do this, it'll apply really smoothly. What I'm going to do is take a very small shader brush like this. It's comparable to I think 212 or 213 brush, I'm not sure. But I'm just going to blend this line out, just kind of smudge it. I know I'm not doing this exactly like Narania. I'm not even going to say that I'm nearly as talented as her. But the main idea is just to get a dark base under there so when you put color over it, it kind of has that more defined crease that it looks like Rihanna has in her picture. It's almost a cat eye, so I came out just a little bit more in the blending. Then I'm going to bring it up, just blending it up a little bit. Another thing with Narania's technique is that I'm pretty sure in one of her videos she said that you want this line to be somewhat parallel to your eyebrow line. So I don't know if you can see how it's right here, it's kind of parallel to it. You want to watch for that also. Now that that's blended out about the much about as much as I want, go back in with that 239 brush and I'm going to take Star Violet. And this is a plummy color. It's really pretty. Just take it with that brush and I'm going to aim the brush up and kind of sweep it up like this. Completely covering that pencil because I don't want that pencil color to be the main focus. I want it to be the plum. And what you'll need to do too is when you're doing both eyes, because I can see this is turning out darker than my other eye, I'll go back in and add just a little bit more color to make that even. But for time's sake, I'm just giving the idea. Just kind of sweep it up. Go in just a little bit more, and that's about what you should have at this point. Take the 217 brush, Stiff Dome, same color, Star Violet, give it a flick. I'm just going to blend this out. 
Just get right in there. Soften it as you go up because you want it to fade as it goes to your eyebrow. Then what I'm going to do is wipe off that 217 brush just on an old clean towel. And I'm going to go in with the color brulee and this is a tan color. You want something that's pretty close to your natural skin tone, so if you're a little bit darker, go with a darker color. You want something that's kind of satin or matte finish because um, a lot of this eyeshadow is shimmer, so you want to kind of balance it out. Putting this all under the brow and just blending out. And that's pretty much for the eyeshadow part for the upper eye. I'm going to line my waterline and my upper lash line with black track fluid line and an angled small brush like this. I got this from Target. This is another Sonia Kashuk brush. Do you see how it's angled so it gives me precise uh, control over the bristles? So I'm going to use that, come back and show you how to smudge underneath and what I have on the rest of my face. Now that I've lined my upper lash line and my waterline, I'm going to show you how to use two different brushes to get a smoky look under your eyes because the 219 pencil is a little bit too large, um, especially if you have smaller eyes. I am going to use this for the outer part. So I'm going to dip it in some black tie, just kind of tap off the excess. Starting at the outer part of the eye, I'm just going to smudge it in. Go about halfway under the lower lash line. And then from there, you'll notice that it starts to get a little too thick. So what I'm going to do is use a small shader brush like this one. It's the one I used earlier. I'm going to put some shadow on the tip of it. Just kind of spread it out, tap off the excess. We're going to use this to smudge the inner part so it's not too thick. So I'm doing about the inner third, inner half of that lower lid. Our lower lash line. Go all the way into the tear duct because that's what it looks like in Rihanna's picture. Then all you need to do is add some mascara and the one I'm going to use today is L'Oreal's Voluminous and then I will be back again to show you what I have on my face so I'll be back in a second. Okay I'm back guys sorry about that. I want to make sure I get under the time limit, um, and I figured most of you know how to put on mascara. If not, email me, and I can always do a really quick video on that. Um, for my lips, I'm wearing Blankety Lip Gloss by MAC, and on top it's the Bare Necessity Dazzle Glass. For my cheeks, for contouring, I used NARS Laguna Bronzer because I wanted more of a bronzy look that Rihanna has. On the cheeks is NARS Orgasm Blush. So, let me get up so you can see it. There's the eyes with some kind of peach color on the lid and then plum in the crease and outer V and then just a neutral color to highlight. And that's pretty much it. Add some black eyeliner all the way into the tear duct. So thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks so much for subscribing. I'm still amazed at how many of you are watching my videos, so thank you so much. Don't forget to check out the look of the week. This one's a really fun one. It's kind of a dramatic, smoky. It's a really pretty picture. So check that out on my website at makeupgeek.com. Thanks again. Bye. Okay, so really quick before I end this video, I wanted to tell you while I was taking pictures for this tutorial, um, I was outside and there was a deer and two does that just crossed my fence right in front of me and were running by. They were so cute. One of the little does stood behind stayed behind the mom because the mom kind of took off and the other one went with her but the one just stood there and was kind of staring towards me for a little while it was so cute and I tried to take a picture and as soon as he saw me moving my stuff around he took off so I was going to show you a picture but just thought it was cute so I thought I'd share it with you guys but talk to you later bye and I've got it so together I can see with my eyes open or with my eyes closed Late at night I cry and wonder why my life's going, going nowhere But during the day everything is okay, I'm having it my way I say, my teachers tell me that I am a lost soul